this video we learned about creating a plugin for custom blocks of Gutenberg using WordPress scripts. Uh, we discussed some of the features where it helps us install Webpack uh, as well as Babel and set it up behind the scenes. We didn't really have to uh, do any configuration. In this video we're going to talk about more features that WordPress scripts offers and you can see it just published 13 days ago. So it's one of the new things that WordPress provides us. Okay, so let's continue further as to what other features it can provide and how it can benefit us. So the first thing we're going to talk about is check engines. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will add this script check engines into my package.json file. So I'll just go over here, go to scripts, comma and just paste it. So basically what will happen is when we run uh, npm run check engines it's going to run the CLI WP scripts check engines. Okay so let's try that. npm run check engines. Okay I think it's a spelling mistake. npm run check engines brilliant okay so you can see it's running the script and it's saying that wanted node version uh, greater than or equal to 10.0.0 however found 8.12 okay so basically what's happening is if you go to this uh, documentation it talks about that uh, it provides you with this wordpress script cli and uh, the reason for developing is that tomorrow if there is a different npm package configuration uh, that you need to be dependent on and that needs to be updated uh, developers really need to take care of that on their own there should be only one thing where they can just update one package and it takes care of all the dependencies that, that need to be updated as well uh, so to bring that uniformity uh, to make it easy for developers this script has been released okay and uh, what it talks about also is that every tool provided in this package comes with recommended configuration so it helps us check that if our configuration is what it is expecting or not okay so what is expecting out of us is that our node version should be 10.0.0 however it's 8.12 that's the reason it's it's talking about that so it's checking that information for us okay so you can see check if the current node npm or yarn versions match the given semantic version ranges if the given version is not satisfied information about installing the needed version is printed and the program exits without error code so we've already checked that uh, next thing we can check is uh, license okay so what is license so if you go on to the package.json file there is something called license over here right uh, so currently I've set it to GNU. So let's try that and let's check if the license is uh, what is expected out of us or not. Okay, so let's try that. So I'm going to add this script into my package.json file of my plugin. Okay, and then I'm going to run check licenses. This time let me copy this just to avoid some spelling mistakes in typing so okay sorry npm run check licenses let's try that so you can see it's running the script check licenses and let's see what we get so you can see module my gutenberg block has an incompatible license so it appears that the license that we have provided is is not what it should be so what should be the license so the license that we should provide is basically gpl 2.0 or later okay so let's add that okay and now let's run the same command and see what happens so it's checking the same information into our plugin folder and let's see you can see now there are no errors which means the license we have provided is correct okay so let's look at the next feature next feature let's talk about that so it also provides us with some linting tools uh, we can check our CSS as well as JavaScript files so let's try with a JavaScript file first so I'm just going to copy this and paste it into our package.json file under scripts so 
it has already got uh, linting tools installed so if when we go ahead and install the uh, WordPress scripts so if you go to node modules and if you try to check what are the packages installed you can check that let's scroll down so you can see it's installed just okay so there are so many packages that are installed over here. we have lodash also right so you can check that out over here in dependency i think i showed that in the last video as well yes lint is there just is there so a lot of testing environment is there linting tools like es lint is there so th it is already providing us with a command uh, that we can use to for linting so i don't want to lint all the files the dot is for the current directory i want to lint only the index.js file which i have written uh, because that's where i have written my custom blocks okay information uh, custom block code okay so let me just provide this so it's under source and then it's under index.js okay and now i'm going to run lint lint.js okay so let's run npm run lint js let's see what happens so you can see it's looking for in source index.js it says unexpected trailing comma where is that it's on the line number 10 right so this comma shouldn't be there okay now i can go ahead and just delete it and fix it but it also provides us a way to fix it by uh, if we go ahead and pass a, a fix flag okay so if you check here let's go back js on top fix so you can see it's, it says over here one error zero warning potentially fixable with fix option so what if if we create another script rather than adding it over here let's create another script and let's name it as js fix and let's just pass a fix flag over here if we do that then now if i run this command lint.js notice that this comma will be removed automatically okay i think we are running the same command sorry js fix i ran that notice what happens over here see it's gone right so it has taken care of that so it is fixing these errors for us so which is which is pretty good actually because some of the errors we need to fix and some of the errors it can fix on its own so it actually saves our time okay similarly we have something for css okay. else for linting styles we also have a script here okay so let's add this to our package.json file okay and now if i go ahead and uh, if i run npm run lint css you can see it's running this command wp scripts lint style and you can see that it's given me an error right it says that uh, unexpected named color so which means that it doesn't want a named color it wants a color code okay so here we have named it we need to change it to color code so let's change it this is the color code we'll choose it and it's changed okay and now if i run the same command again npm run lint css colon css you can see that now there are no errors into our css file so this is pretty useful uh, because it helps us lint our style files as well as uh, you know our js file okay there's also a linting tool available for package.json okay and uh, this is going to enforce that our package has the standard that we require okay so let's add that uh, to our script as well okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add it the name is lint package json and that should run wp scripts lint package json okay so let's try it i'm gonna clear the screen 
run npm lint package json okay i think uh, what have i said not le i think we missed a run okay sorry so it's running the script and it talks about no link target provided okay so we need to provide a target for that uh, okay in the current directory so let's put current directory over here so dot means current directory let's try that okay so it gives us these errors it says home page is required and keywords are required so what is missing from here is home page uh, for our repo as well as keywords for our repo so let's add that keywords and home page okay and now la let's run it now it says your package adjustment properties are not in the desired order please move repository after home page okay so which means what they're saying is that they need to move up so let's move them up and let's try now so they also need to be in correct order desired order okay now there are no errors which means our package.json file is perfect so that's very beneficial because you know uh, when you have these tools available you can always check uh, that whatever setup you have for your project for your plugin uh, if if it is meeting the standards that WordPress needs okay so that's pretty useful now generally it is recommended not to touch the uh, configuration files for uh, webpack as well as Babel RC but uh, just in case if you have to override it then uh, it also gives you the advanced information about that okay so I'm not going to get into the tests etc but uh, let's just talk about overriding the default webpack config file okay so if I had to show you so by default WordPress scripts already uh, install these packages for you so be you know be careful about it that you don't end up installing those packages that it already provides so for example it provides you with react react dom moment library which is for time etc you have jquery you have lodash so these are the general packages that you generally need when working with gutenberg because gutenberg is created with javascript using react so these are the things that you will actually need so these things are already provided right so if you had to uh, go ahead and override it then you can create your own webpack config js file okay so let me show that to you in my blog i've written here so all you have to do is just create a webpack config file over here webpack dot config dot js okay and just paste it okay so what this is doing is basically it's including the default configuration from the wordpress scripts so i want to show you where exactly the configuration file of webpack lives that uh, wordpress scripts package provides so this is the path basically so if you go to your node modules uh where is it here it is okay and then if you go to add wordpress which is here then next you go to scripts which is this and then you go to config okay and you can see that these are the configuration files basically so you have es lint rc configuration mentioned over here you have style lint configuration you have babel transform you have just configurations so all of the configuration file at one place okay uh, and you have webpack config as well so this is the configuration file that that uh, wordpress uh, you know scripts package is providing you over here okay so you can see this is the entry path that is why the default path uh, for entry is source index.js because that's what they have mentioned over here and so we don't need to define these configuration file but wordpress scripts package already doing that for us um, so you can see that output is in inside of the build directory okay and it's doing all of the things here it's using source map loader using ba babel loader for transforming the uh, 
ES Next uh, code into code that browsers can understand and it's using the plugins over here so all of the information has been given over here so in order for you to uh, ensure that to to go ahead and require these uh, default configuration file in your configuration file if you want to overwrite them you need to include these okay so if I just console log default config and I'll just run npm start which will run webpack in watch mode so start is basically the script that we have provided over here so it runs WP script start okay so I've explained that in my previous video so you can see that this is the config default configuration of uh, webpack that WordPress scripts provides mode is development entry file is this uh, which is index.js then you have the output file externals right uh, plugins so these are the plugins that it's using so all of the information is here okay so um, if you come over here if I want if you want to override you can override over here so for example here if you want to use URL loader or SVG webpack you can just mention your stuff here and still include the default rules right great guys so that's how you actually override the default configuration of webpack okay which is the information mentioned over here okay so I think that's pretty much it it's given you uh, a basic understanding of what are the features that WordPress scripts package provides to you and I think it's pretty amazing especially for the people uh, you know uh, who have little knowledge about webpack and Babel uh, and they just want to get on with the uh, with development of their blocks they can just use the WordPress scripts install it and it will ins install all the dependencies behind the scenes okay so I hope you did like my video if you did please do subscribe to my channel uh, you can follow me on Twitter my handle is Imran H. Sayyad and uh, I'll see you in the next video take care guys bye bye